Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Akili, and today we are continuing our Winks as Mermaids mini-series for Mermaid with Tecna and Musa. So let's not waste any time and hop right into the video. As I mentioned in the previous video, all six Winx girls are available to purchase in a coloring page pack on my Etsy, which will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment. Starting with Tecna, I based her design off a sea slug, also known as a nudie branch. They have a lot of variety, but I used a few similarly shaped ones for reference. I do feel like Tecna's design was more simple than the previous two, so I tried to make up for it in coloring and blending of colors. Tecna's assigned colors are green and purple, and I tried to stay away from those exact colors, but I did use a mint green instead of her regular bright neon green. The mint green on the tail was supposed to be a lot lighter, at least that's what I planned it to be when I made the color scheme but I don't really have any markers that light, and even when using a colorless blender, it still turned out a little darker than what I wanted. But either way, I was glad that I was able to use my mid green markers, because I feel like nowadays I don't really use them as often as I would like to. And for the rest of her tail, I blended blue, purple, and magenta, and surprisingly, it worked really well and blended easily. As for the shading, recently I've been enjoying using purples and blues as the shadow color. I feel like it adds a lot of contrast to the piece and kind of keeps the lighting consistent because if everything is shaded with a similar purple, it kind of makes the lighting feel like it's the same. And you'll see that more in the next video as well. As for Musa, her design was the only one I didn't base off a real sea creature, and the reason for this was because I based it off the singing whales in that one episode about her mom. I felt like they were really significant to her character, and since we were doing something based on the ocean, it just seemed to make sense. However, you could say the design is loosely based on whales because I did use real whale tails as a reference. Since I based her design off the singing whales, the colors were kind of chosen for me, but actually purple and yellow were the original colors I chose for Musa's Witchtober piece before changing it to red and pink. I just thought that was kind of funny that I already experimented with those colors beforehand, and I was going to do it for the Witchtober piece, but then when I chose the colors for everyone else based on their normal assigned colors, I decided to change hers to red back then. I added the purple to her hair and I blended it together with the blue because I thought it would help add some softness to the dark hair, but also because I just wanted to blend something. Having her tail kind of be the same purple but just varying in saturation didn't give me a lot of blending time, so I added it to the hair and I thought that it just also made it feel a little bit more magical. And since these two were definitely the simpler of the six designs, I wanted Musa's hair to be long and flowy and just fun to color, so if you do decide to purchase the coloring page, it would be fun to color a lot of mermaid hair. So overall, even though these two were more simple in design, I really enjoyed coloring them and trying to find ways to add in details within the coloring process. I added a little bit more detail by giving them sparkles and blending more colors together. So if you do happen to purchase the coloring pack, I'm interested to see what you would do to add more details if you choose to do so. And if you do decide to purchase, color, and post these mermaids, be sure to tag me at Kiwi on wherever you post social media. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me color Tecna and Musa for Mermaid. Bloom and Stella will be next, so if you don't want to miss that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of when that comes out. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!